Well, it was a house that went up more than a hundred years ago in Albuquerque. Out on the East Mesa, it was actually the first one to go up. It is now a historic landmark. It is also an ugly, rundown dump. Even neighbors who originally wanted to save it now want to get rid of it. News 13's Kim Holland is on special assignment. Oh, it, is, it is sad, yeah. Once a beautiful house. We've looked at it for like some 12 years or so. Now barely hanging on to her good looks. Shingles long gone, holes in the roof, the wood porch sagging. It's pretty bad. I mean, let's face it. Would you want to live next to this? This Albuquerque house just south of UNM and Cornell has been falling apart for decades. It started in the 1980s when the owner died. You can see the weeds and brush taking over the lot in this picture from 1985. But it didn't always look like this. When it was built in 1908, the giant adobe house stood out in the arid plateau because it stood alone. Built by Laura Werner and her son-in-law, Ralph Gilchrist, it pioneered the development of the entire East Mesa. Historians say it was Albuquerque's first suburban house. It would have stood up as this uh, kind of statement of uh, dreams and wishes and hopes for the development of the Mesa. Laura's daughter, Nora, lived here for 73 years from the time it was built until her death in 1981. Historian Chris Wilson knew the Warner Gilchrist house should be cherished. Nearly 30 years ago, he drew up the papers for it to be on the National Register of Historic Places. It's also an official Albuquerque historical landmark. But Wilson is unhappy with what's become of the home. Really sad. It was a, a, a grand house in its day. Um, you know, much, much admired. Uh, it has real potential for being reused as a, as a residence, maybe a couple of apartments. Jim Trump and his company bought the house six years ago with plans to renovate it. But he says 15 different ideas he presented to the Neighborhood Association were all shot down. Uh, the neighborhood and, and us never got, to, uh, got on the same page. We didn't agree. Finally, in 2007, neighbors agreed with plans to make the home into office space. But that was right about the time the economy tanked and Trump couldn't go through with it. That year, the city allowed Trump's company to put these houses on the lot and collect rent that could be used to possibly renovate the main house. But that never happened. Instead, the house has been used as a crash pad for transients and a party spot for teenagers. And the city of Albuquerque condemned it in February 2010. Um, I'm really caught in a trap where one side of me would love to refurbish it, and the other one is saying, I, I have an obligation to demo it so the safety around the neighborhood is kept. Trump has been asking for a permit from the city to demolish the house since 2008. The permit was always denied. See the deterioration of the structure. The owners have spent more than $100,000 to secure the property and fence it off. But neighbors are just sick of looking at this eyesore and want something done. The, the overall majority would like to see it restored. But once again, if that's not economically or structurally feasible, then tear it down. Now, in an unusual move, the mayor is stepping in. The letter that I have from the planning department at this point, I think, is recommending that we allow the house to be uh, to be demolished from a safety concern. He plans to again meet with neighbors, the owner, and the city departments before making a decision. We should know in a couple of weeks whether the city wants to hold on to its history or say goodbye to its past. Kim Holland, KRQE News 13. The Warner Gilchrist house was put to use as a drug house in an episode of Breaking Bad.